Okay, today we're going to do a little color pencil penciling because I made a little picture. We're going to use these color pencils. I sharpened them all with this razor blade. Okay, and you can make your own little caddy out of paper towel rolls. Better than toilet paper rolls because they weren't in the bathroom. It's kind of disgusting. Anyway, let me just do this first here. Alright, yeah, okay. So anyway, uh, yeah, so and here's a picture I I am. I made this mural a while ago. It's uh, 16 by 23, I think, or actually yeah, 16 by 30. Anyway, this is right here is um, is what I did. It's a drawing, and uh, I was doing it for somebody because they wanted to make money at home or something, and they were pretty intuitive. So I came up with the idea. Of, okay, why don't you do something different instead of tarot or or being uh, wicker or whatever? You know, I so saw I had intuitive mystic, you know, soul, life, and spirit journey, purpose, relations. Okay, and I, I said, you know, her name, she could be do organic level guidance instead of like, you know, tarot reading or stuff like that. But then, uh, you know, I just didn't hear from her. And then, uh, you know, I was like, oh, well, I'm not going to waste my time. So then I uh, made copies of it and I whited out the stuff there. So I actually have other copies that are whited out. And, uh... Yeah, for right now, I'm just going to do this one because it's actually a test. So I use the copy machine better than, better than a computer because it's actually better in a lot of ways. But, you know, the lighting isn't the best. I don't really have a good setup at this particular time. But, you know, I used to tattoo and everything. And it's good to be able to draw quick and stuff. So, you know, I've got some bees on there. i got an eyeball on there. I don't know what color I'm going to make the eye. You know, um, let's see. I, gotta, I don't know. I'll start with the leaves and stuff like that. These color pencils are really good. They're called Liras. They're big fatties. And uh, Faber Castle also makes them. Um, but I don't have too many of them left. But anyway, I'm not using them anymore. So if I, uh, we're going to do leaves and stuff. You, know, you can start with a little dark here. And there's all different kind of color pencils. Some of them are water color pencils where you can take a brush or a Q-tip or a paper towel with water on it. And afterward, you can, like, you know, smear it up. And it makes it pretty cool. So, you know. Uh, yeah, let's just start with that right now. Yeah, just leave. Yeah. I'm staying the lines a little bit. Just a little. You know, too much. Yeah. 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 This is like a test because I want to see what kind of colors I really want to put on there. You know, it's going to look cartoony and stuff. You know, I might not want it cartoony look at it. I might ultimately do it in watercolor, but just for now, I'm going to test it out and see what we're going to actually be doing with it. So. Just get an idea. The process. If you want to do art, it's, it's a big process you have to go through. A lot of people they sit there and go, you know, no, you just blaze through it. That's how creation works. You know, if they say that you know, God created the heavens and the earth and the universe in seven days or something like that, I doubt it took its time. Anyway, you know, fire, you may get some fire in there. You know, let's see, you gotta get some fire in there. Yeah, so uh, I used to draw a lot on the subway from stop to stop. I like have sketchbooks. You know, literally, I'm 46 years old. And I, I've, I've, uh, since I've been in second grade, I've had my artwork in like the school curriculum and stuff like that, and for holiday occasions and things. You know, one time I we had a. We could either write an essay or make a poster for the Bicentennial. I made this poster. It was in, I think, ninth grade. And then the, the teacher thought I lied. I mean, I laminated it with tape and everything, with clear tape, and, you know, made the scenes perfect. And I got an F because he took it away and accused me of being a liar and trying to plagiarize and use, use something as an assignment. You know, that I had gotten, like, out of a book or ordered or something. And I was like, okay, so I got an F from that. 
I checked on him periodically. I found out last year he died. You know, it was in the paper. Dear Phil B. Child, Mr. Benanti. I checked every once in a while, too. You know. Just to know, just to know. Just, you know, just gotta keep your eye on these people. And screw you over, like. Kids used to pick on me and try to beat me up. First, I said, try. I got away from violence, and what I did, I was draw pictures of them. <laughs> you know, it became a tool, and I realized how effective it is. You know, art is anything. You know? And to be able to tattoo and paint for people, you know, from your heart, you got to really see where they're coming from, so you have to get into their psyche a little bit. You know, and you have to understand their life and their feelings and personality. So you can pull it out of them. Uh, and in the meantime, you're like stepping in their shoes a little bit. And you're finding out how other people think and feel. Because, you know, certain colors and things, they matter. Like, you know, I would normally ask people, you know, do you want sharp edges or round edges? You know, and that tells something about their personality, too. You know, a lot of those things are like that. So it, that's what it comes down to. You know, art is, is pretty cool. You can really go far, do a lot of things, and learn a lot, and understand a lot about life and creation, how we got here, what it takes. And then your mind starts taking apart stuff. And you could actually engineer and everything else. And you realize that, um, you know, with that kind of conception, kind of, it, it does make you intuitive to a lot of things. And then you, you'll realize that, you know, it takes a photographic memory because, you know, you're recalling stuff. You know, I don't use references. I do most of the stuff out of my head. Whenever I try to use a reference, like on Google or something, you know, it just doesn't stick there. And you have to manipulate the image anyway in your own mind if you don't use a computer like me. So you end up drawing it yourself anyway. You know, but for like horses and stuff. You know, and stuff like that, it's good to get some specific details because you can't fake it all the time. And when I was looking up a woman riding a horse, I had to do one time. I couldn't believe what I found. It was disgusting. And, uh, yeah, so I was just like, I don't even like looking on Google for references and things like that. Because the things you find that people put on videos, it's depressing, you know, how deprived the world is. And yet people will put themselves in positions to make money and and, you know, get hype in different ways on that subject. <laughs> you can learn a lot. Oh, and I had to draw princesses one time. And I looked up, you know, Disney princesses. And they're printed out in black and white. And everything they said about Walt Disney and all these perverted stuff is true in that as well, by the way. And it's in there, believe me, even to this day and age. It's a lot of stuff. Art, is, art gets around, I tell you. And, uh, artists... Prostitution was the oldest um, professions they say they, they were. Or, and, uh, yeah, I'm an artist, I'm glad. <laughs> but, uh, I have a lot of different colored different types of colored pencils and everything. You know, and I use the um, razor blade to sharpen them because they actually break in the pencil sharpener and you, you use so much. And if, if you get used to doing everything with a sharp edge like that, without being able to control the pencil and feel like that, you end up losing your your skill because you become like, um, what's the word called? Like, not pestilent, but, you know, finicky. It's like, oh, I have to have them exactly sharpened. You know, and that's like cheese, man. Because then you're going to be like, you're going to put yourself out. You're not going to have the ability because, oh, my pencil isn't sharpened correctly, so... You really got to make it happen in a special way without having to deal with it. You know, it goes back to the creation again. I don't know how cool dragonflies are. I got these bumblebees in there. You know, zzz, make some sounds. Now, actually, you look like a hornet <laughs> right now. Because bumblebee's got a black butt. That one I just put on. I'll do it anyway. It doesn't matter. Just a test here. I like to do the wings with a little bluish in there. You know, it's nice. I don't know what color the birds are going to be. You know what? Let's put the birds. Let me do a little pinkish in the birds. Make them nice. We'll make those birds feminine. 
since we made like yellow jacket bumblebees, which are kind of masculine. Not that it can't be queens, but a little bug. You know, see, bug feels nature. Watch the course of creation going on here, folks. Come on, man. What's so, up? Anyway, yeah, the eye. We're going to do a green eye. I mean, we have brown already. We had green in there. I'm going to do a blue eye, but we might have a blue sky. So, you know what? My eyes are brown. I like brown eyes. You know? There's nice blue-eyed people out there. I don't know if I've ever been around anybody with a blue eye. You know? They don't take to me very well. I don't know if I can trust people with blue eyes all the time. I don't know if that's biased or ignorant to say that. What it is, what it is. Yeah. Maybe that's why I haven't really had any friends with blue eyes. And I'm not going to make a skip tell me. I'm going to put a... When you want to make gold, you use green, brown, and yellow. Or... I'll show you. Okay, you got green. That's special. It's a crappy green. so much. I have like a couple buckets of colored pencils in my storage. But that's not here. I actually have some more in the other room, but they're not sharp at all. school bus yellow for this part here. Let's see. I gotta get some more brown now. Get the base thing in here. I don't know what I want to make this part yet. Um, you know what? Let me do that. I'll tell you what. Kind of an awkward green. I'll call it an awkward green. Works good for goldy colors. It's kind of off because it's the oxidation that you're putting in there. So, and if you notice, like in faces and everything else, every color is used a lot. And Van Gogh, he really did. He did. He was good. Van Gogh was awesome. You know, you really got to take some time and appreciate and dissect his paintings to see what, what his mind was because he he amplified a lot of the colors and in the one one particular painting of his self portrait you know he shows you that you know our skin has blue veins we have purple and red and green parts in there so you can't just like okay I'm just going to make it flesh color it doesn't work like that that's not how it works. Uh, you know, the chakras, I don't really know what the chakras are. I think uh, orange is here. Right? I think the crown chakra is, is a purple or something. Right? Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? See ya. inspired to draw in a while. You know, for people. Let me mess up another one. Stay away from the needles and stuff, folks. They're bad. Oh, magenta. Yeah, but, uh, Yeah, I was thinking about the card logo. That's what I do, you know. It, I, I work on inspiration because 
as a commercial artist, you really lose a lot of your oomph, you know. I mean, I'm not talking about being a fine artist and selling paintings like that. But I used to paint like Dolly and just get real intricate and close. And now everything is like such a quickness. I think I'm going to have to do some purple in the um, dragonfly. We'll get the dragonfly kind of purple. See? Not too bad. I don't like the big fat ass pencil. And where's that one? Some of these pencils are actually really crappy, but they have a real hard lead, if you want to call it, and, and that helps you in some perspectives. So, you know, you can use them, even though they're junky. I, I don't throw them away because there's a time and place. And, and when you have crappy art supplies, take them on the road with you. Put them in your pocket, put them in your car, or on your bicycle, and, you know, and just draw them. You'll, you'll make it happen. Now, dolphins are usually like grayish, I think. I'm going to use a periwinkle and a super dark, like, dust wedgewood blue for the, for the dolphins. Kind of looks like Pisces. It wasn't intended, but you know, there's Pisces in my life still. A little water something. I don't have any scorpions in there, no. That's what I am. I stay. Put a curse on it too. If I want to. But anyway, I try not to. It's not my intention. It just happens. You don't realize. Anyway. I like drawing stuff like dollar bills. You know, like that kind of art and coins. And it's real like significant and it's that I, I like to use quills. I haven't used them in a while. I'm going to use this aquamarine, even though it's kind of green. And I got like a, um, a clamshell with some pearls in it, too. Tres pearls. Three pearls in that clamshell. Yeah. Sun, moon, and stars, perhaps. And, and that can be pink, too. It's not a wrong thing. Put this here. Get a little bit of that there. Got some rocks up in there with some flowers and the rocks. I'm put a little blue nail in there. There's a lot of different ways to do art, I'll tell you. But if you don't have composition and certain levels of skill, no matter what you do, it's going to look crusty. And it starts to muddy up, but we got tricks for that later. Uh, I'm going to gray. Somewhere. Not here. See ya. Okay, so. Use that. I still, this is a Crayola right here. It's better than a prank. It's like prank. It's like, hey, art supplies. Oops, psych, gotcha. Oh, I should have made a black. I can see this. Pink roses, yellow roses. Tulips and stuff. Tulips. Alright, so now let's do some, uh, I'm going to make this pink. It's feminine, you know. Oyster shell, clam shell. I think an Aphrodite, Aphrodite. You know, it's, uh, it's good to have nice lighting and nice table. I'm actually using a canvas as my table right now. 
you know, it's it's not good because you can get, you know, it's the back of it, so it's a texture. But I, you know, there's a big copy paper, twenty seven cents, yeah. And um, yeah, so you know, when you have a nice, good surface that's not dented up, you can really make the colored pencils work in your favor. It also gets a little difficult sometimes. And there's a lot of other tricks you could use with white and black colored pencils. Blow your mind. But, um, maybe, maybe not. It'll confuse your eye. With a goodness. Talk about temperature. I'm going to say degrees. School bus yellow. S B Y. School bus yellow. Orange kind of turns to brown and went on the black copy paper. I wanted to get this in a, um, a non photo blue, but the dude at the um, copy station, he doesn't know about that because he's younger, but non photo blue, you know, won't show up when you make a copy. And uh, you could actually, if it was non photo blue, I would have went over it with black. And, and fine lined everything because it's still basically from a pencil sketch so you know there's different hues and levels of light and dark in the brown and in, in the, the line work of this here I don't care about that okay because I, I don't care about like going out of line in certain respects and if it's a logo it'll be put into the computer anyway and that's what they get paid that big money for so I, I don't mind showing that it's hand done because I take pride in that. You know, I could have left a little more white in there. Actually, it would have been nice, but not a care. Not a care. You know, this is child's play for me. Do this all day. Still, even to this day, I love art. It saves. You know, it really saves you. If it's on paper, it's out of your head most of the time. But then you you know you itch because you want to do stuff, and sometimes you don't have the time, or you know you can't do it right, or if it has to do it, or if you want to do it in painting, you'll see like, oh man, I want to make that big, you know. So it's like it's just not going to be the same or look the same. So I've got like a log of paintings and drawings and designs in my head. I always you're never bored if you're in into art as an artist, you will not find that you get bored because there's always something to do. You know? And when you do something you have it. It's forever most of the time. Digital, not really. If you don't print it out, see you later. You might not never have it. Your computer crashes or something like that. Bye bye. No, that's gonna work. What I want to do with those cards. You know, that's like a tannish color for cards, right? Just make them like old parchment looking. Why not? It's good to flip the sucker around too. Then you can get get good good depth and you know, you adjust your lines. When people don't know how to draw or paint or stuff, they get stuck thinking everything has to be like 
Well, I'm working on it like this. So I try to, oh, I can't do that. That's not the way it works either. You know, it's just like you're making love to the paper. Flip it around, do all kinds of stuff. Anyway, I don't know, I, I, we'll figure it out. You know, technically the cards could be different color because they're t three different kind of cards. And in the tarot community, you know, they have that, they have that distinguishment, you know. And some people feel like black is a negative color. And you got to be wary of people that wear black all the time. I mean, kind of it's true a little bit. You know, there's some very positive proclaiming people and they wear black like 90% of the time. Uh, so... You know, so like, that's up. You know. Let's see. And there's a lot of things to do with this. I'll show you. And then I look at the brown hair, which put a little bobby on there, which give it a little golden, you know, make it look luminescent. Luminescent. Usually, like, my personal thing is I'll usually save the black to last a lot of times. Like, I've done complete tattoos and had no black in them, but for the last minute, you know, like here, just boom, boom. Garnet? No, let's use a, yeah, let's do the garnet style red. Oh, here's like a red purple garnet. What's up, Mr. Fly? Got some flies flying around me like a light. Just get down on it and tell me. You know what? Put that right in there. Cool. Okay. Oh, I'm going to make this black because it's like a, This is a feminine yogi esque looking figure. It was supposed to be for somebody feminine biological makeup. Makeup. No bad energy. I really don't. I could put bad energy on people, but I don't like to. Stuff. I'm glad. It saved me a lot of time, though, because sometimes people reveal themselves right away quicker than other people will reveal themselves sometimes. Sometimes you won't know a person. And you, you'll be working for somebody, you know, whether it's charity or not, and you won't know until, like, way later that, whoa, you wasted your time. You know? I've done a lot of things. Like, I have personal symbols that I've given to people, and, you know, Later on, it's like, come on, man. How could you do that to me? I mean, the energy that I put in. And there's time. And time is energy. And you got to understand that. So you got to be very careful, you know, not to be shallow with your art. At the same time, you know, realize that you shouldn't be too deep all the time either. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do this here because I see some... I'm wanting something. These color pencils get the mask and stuff on too. Uh, let me see. Let me do that. See? Doesn't matter. You know, you got to think too. In, in the old days, they didn't have a lot of art supplies and certain things either. So the way things were done was, was different. So when you embody that kind of realm, things happen. 
No, there's not enough green. Life. Let's give life green for growth. Awesome. And that dragonfly is going to have green eyes. Green eyes, baby. Okay, now, uh, I don't know, for some reason, that is kind of, white's not bad for that. You know what, I'll, I'll do this. And, like, you could take a marker and do certain things. Like, if you have a rapidograph, rapidograph pen, I think that's a brand, no, it's a name of the pen. The brand would be Rotring, but I think there might be a rapidograph brand. But like you can get white and black and really smash the the highlights and the and the shadows in there with that, and and you'll be surprised just how much depth you can get with those kind of uh, tools. Tools. Do that. Just a little bit. Finding the stones. Okay, so what else we got? We got the intuitive missing part. You know what? I'm gonna do that and kind of goldy greeny too. Might as well. Because technically that would be like gold, uh, gold fire cauldron. What do you call it? Cauldron, fire holder, something. There's another technique where you could, if in the colored pencil, I mean in the regular pencil, I erased to make those lines right there. And you know, like, when you draw bigger, you could shrink it down and it'll become tighter. Now in this, I drew this smaller, blew it up, but if I shrink this down, it'll be tight, you know. And, uh, and it was like... I went back and forth on it. I didn't just finish it all in one step, but it was like about about two hours to draw that, you know, because I stopped and I ate in between and I was thinking about the words and I actually went and got some dried up dead bumblebees to look, just to get the proportion correctly. Okay, so what should I do with that? I don't know. Here's what you could do. Look, you could actually say, okay, would it look good green? Would it look good red? Could it look good blue? Or brown? No brown. Yeah, why not? You know, because intuitive and mystic, that's in there, whatever. I try not to get McDonald's y with the colors, like to put red and yellow next to each other and Burger King. Such a commercialism. But, you know, in, when I was in Brazil, they had these insects flying like this big with a big stinger like mm -hmm. and, and it was black with yellow and red stripes and it was like it was really intense so nature makes those colors but i just don't like to put them next to each other too much because it reminds me of that I, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. What. Uh, hi, thank you. Let it on my nose. One second. Okay. Do I want to put?
put clouds in the background and stuff like that? Do I want to? Do I want to? I don't know. I'll tell you what, let me do this. Oh, I guess that's not happening. <laughs> Symbolistic, right? Yellow and pink go nice together. It's like color bees. That freaks some people out. Like, oh, look at the voices he's making, the way he's talking. What is that? Whatever, dude. Or I could say, oh, give it a little friend. Whatever. Okay, so, um, yeah. That's pretty much where it's at right this second. Obviously, that's where it is. It's here. This is where it is at. And, uh, yeah, okay. So that gives me a good idea. Um, just what really it could look like with those colors. Yeah. And then I could be satisfied and not have to color the other thing at all. And because I was, you know, I'll, I'll use it for myself. I have a plan for it, but for right now, it's kind of fitting. I don't mind that being so orange. Uh, <laughs> how long did that take? An hour? Damn it. Um, yeah, like this is golden right here, like this white right here. You could do a lot of stuff with that. It's got yellow in it already. Yellow goes with me. You know, watch, see. It'll make it waxy. You know, but that'll blend it. You could actually do so much with colored pencils. You have no idea the versatility and the possibilities of what colored pencils can do. It's amazing, I tell you. <laughs> oh, same color almost. So there we go. Let me want to do this. That's how we roll, folks. That's how it is. That's how it is, and it is how it is. And uh, that's what we got for right there. So, yeah. Probably three hours and 58 seconds I took. Ugh, shiest. I'm tired right now. Yeah. Anyway. It's not perfect, but for what it is, it's perfect as it's going to get for right this second. And there you have it. That's how you operate with colored pencils. You have no fear. You don't stop like when you're playing music and you're finishing a song or you're trying to go through a song. Even if you screw up, you can't just stop because you, you screw the rest of the flow up. So it was a very important part of this exercise here was not to stop. Let me see if I can give you a better view of it. Oh look, the light is playing on it. Making the eye and the heart look like they're reflecting. La da da da. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, should we um, should we wrap this up? I think so. I think that's all she wrote. We can give ourselves one more needle. How fun is that? Yeah, how fun is that? How nice. Yeah, you want to go this way, by the way. Not, not, no, actually, you do. You want to go this way. Because then you'll you really damage the vein. If you go this way, there's a chance it's not going to work. I'm not allowed to kill myself, don't worry. You can do this, too. Oh, look. What is love? Don't hurt me. Remember that song? Uh-oh. He's looking at you. The eye, right? The eye is looking at you. Um, those little stories and stuff. You know, I could have did something, but I just don't... I don't feel like it. You know, I could actually... Norris' work is never done. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, that'll work. Because I, I did want to add some sky-esque color or, 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 but, you know, I didn't want to go to town. Because then you're, like, making puffy clouds. And then, you know, then it's kind of, you can get too toony and cheesy. Bloody cheesy. That's it, though. You better stop, dude. You're going too far, bro. Damn! Alright, so that's it. That's all she wrote. Okay, you have all these right here. And yes, they will mark the paper that it's on. And if you're using any kind of paint and you do this, you're screwed. Okay, you're screwed. So technically we used we used a lot of these. 
We use a lot of these colored pencils right here. It could be forty dollars worth of colored pencils there. I had a box of paintbrushes. It was like a small tackle box. It was like a thousand dollars worth of paintbrushes. Anyway, look, that's what the picture looks like. Now, if, if if you took all that and just thought about it instead of actually doing it in your mind, it might look the same. I don't know. But we have fun. You gotta have fun somehow. Peace and happiness, folks. All goodness to you in the world. Thank you.